Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, how to find those hidden gems, those gems that can do a 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x or 1000x gains. How do you find it amongst 8 to 9,000, uh, it said 8,000 before, 9,000 cryptocurrency coins plus because you know they keep getting created every single day. I'm going to show you how I find some and maybe you can drop comments down below on how you find some and we can all work it out together. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscriber if you're new watching and I'm going to dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, how do we do it? Because there's a lot of people that are looking for these gems and, you know, they're trying to get in early or they want to get in early. And sometimes you ever get that thing where you look at coins and you, <laughs> you realize that it's already had an insane pump. And then you think to yourself, well, how did everyone else find it? I'm going to try and help break, uh, break this down on how to find these gems, right? And the first key rule for me straight up is you need to think about coins that have uh, a good real use case, real use case in the world. A worldwide use case, meaning here's an example like the XRPs, you know, XRP, Stellar, they're trying to solve a really big problem and they're trying to you know make it so we can have faster payments all around with banks and things like this because you know when you try to send money to some countries it can take three to five working days why i feel like i'm shouting at you <laughs> why take that long when you can just send an email and you get the email instantly so you know they're trying to do things like this and trying to speed up the uh, the demand for liquidity across the world so that for me is a, re a real world use case which is why i believe xrp is is a great coin to invest in right but you're talking about hidden gems because xrp has already had 19 billion uh dollars in market cap which means a lot of people have invested into it since 2017 but that's fine because it's still a great coin I just want to just, you know, take show you a few things on my first key uh, uh, marker here, which is the real world use case, right? A real use case. Chili's is another fine example because they're dealing with something which is a real world use case in my eyes because, you know, they're talking about the sports world. <laughs> I say the sports world, the sports industry. Why is this taking long to load up? And, you know, they're doing things where people can vote for their favorite football teams uh, or rugby american football soccer baseball whatever kind of sports it is you know you can participate with your teams and for me that's a real world use case people love that especially when the sport you listen you can't ignore the sports industry it's massive and you best believe when things open up again people will be going to football stadiums and they will be participating in these things and you know chilies is one of those things for me which is a real a real world use case and then i sort of turn to like the zillikas and the harmonies and i look at these as a real world use case as well because again they're they're doing things where uh for me and this is for me now right uh sharding is a serious thing in the crypto industry and you best believe the cryptocurrency space right now is a real world use case because it's tearing up the banks <laughs> it's fiddling with the government <laughs> that, that's the only way i can put it and you know Right now, when we look at things like Bitcoin and uh, uh, Ethereum and payments are slow and things like that, they're going to be turning for layer two solutions and things like this. And they're going to be looking at coins that can potentially bridge and help them make faster payments and cheaper payments as well. Because, you know, you don't want to be spending ridiculous on Ethereum when you're creating NFTs. You see what I'm saying? Another real world use case. Uh, you know, so Harmony and Zillica come into place like this. And it really does help going forward because... You know, these are things that, that people, uh, for me, other blockchains are going to be looking at to partnership with or partnership with. So, yeah, those for me are real world use cases. Things like Pundi X, real world use case. You know, they're trying to make it so we can pay for things in crypto super easy with their XPOS machine. I can see this machine in every single shop. I was going to say store and it came out. <laughs> every single shop, I can see people using this. Real use case. I can see it when I walk into Tesco six years from now, <laughs> maybe, maybe, and there's an XPOS machine and I can just pay with any card or any, any crypto. Ross, telling you now, this is one of the key things that you look for when trying to find hidden gems. 
real uh, use case. Now, don't get me wrong. You may hear a few things on TikTok or you may see some coins be created and come across now and again that can maybe do a 10x or 100x or 50x. But I tend to stay away from them. Elongate is one that's been talked about a lot. Now, I'm not saying that they are bad. I'm not saying that they are great. I'm just using this as a fine example. I don't know what real use case it has because as far as I'm aware, this has just been created off of a tweet. And again, you may make absolute crazy money with it. But for me, I don't know too much about it and it doesn't show me a good real use case. And just a tweet alone is not going to make me want to invest into it or, or talk too much on it. Now, I'm not saying I won't do a video on Elon Gate. I'm not saying that there can't be gains made. I might do that one day, but I just want to compare Elongate alongside coins like the Chilis and the XRPs and the Harmonies and the Zillicas to ones that do have a real use case. And this is why people are uh, making crazy money with these coins. And another thing with coins like the Elongate, right? And again, I'm not saying anything bad about it, is I know there's a lot of pump and dumps. And from my experience, from what I've seen over the last few weeks, because it hasn't been out long, if you're if you're gonna have i don't know if it's bots or your team or whoever it is flood people's live streams with elongate elongate pump pump pump, elongate live elongate gonna go high (laughs) for me it personally on a business point of view it doesn't look good it doesn't look good for for me to want to share it with my people to say hey invest in this because it just sounds like a pump and dump scheme whereas people just want to get a pump so they can make money and then dump it and i'm not about making people lose money and if you are wondering why i haven't done a a massive video on that that's pretty much been the reason why so far look i'm gonna give it time give it a a month or so i want to see what's going to happen because again i can't do a a massive video on elongate based on the tweets uh and the reason i bought elongate up is again because you know it's getting a lot of attention and a lot of noise and i want to make sure that you're aware of my surroundings behind it as to why i believe uh you know it's it's not a hidden gem for me yet okay but let's let me show you how i do things right because sometimes i like to go on stakingrewards.com like i've i've I point at the key feature real use case my second thing is stakingrewards.com i like to go on staking rewards because if i'm looking for a new coin or just a coin that i believe can be a gem i like to look at staking rewards because staking is a big thing right now proof of stake blockchains are the one are the way uh, are moving forward and you could come on this as well and check it. This is just talking about the top 10 crypto assets, but you can change it by price. You can change it by assets. I like to look at rewards. Sometimes you can, is it, hold on, let me see if it does it. I click re- rewards usually, and then it changes the, the highs to lows, but it's not it's not doing it right now. Hold on. It's still showing me, because uh, usually you can click it and change the from higher to low, right? But it's not doing it, as you can see. I'm not sure why. Not even fussed about it, but you can come on here and scroll down. Look for like, oh, hold on. I know why it's not doing it now. I've got to click staking. Here we go. When I click staking, because I like to look for coins that I can stake, but I also like to look for coins that haven't like blown up yet. So, you know, things like reward, you can click on reward and it'll show the highest reward. You see, look, coins that are at the highest reward, it shows the rank where they are in the charts and things like that. And then you can look at the price as well. And, you know, so for ex- just, just an example, right? So I would look at something like this that's saying 196% reward over the year annual. See, <laughs> I hype myself up and then I hype up even more because it's at a penny thinking I can invest into that, a penny, you know, and I look into it and then I do my research. So, for example, this one, Feora. I don't know nothing about it. Literally just showing it right now with you and me learning about it right now this second. And then I'll come on to CoinMarketCap. F-E-Y-O-R-R-A. I've got to remember the name. <laughs> F-E-Y-O... No, O-R... It's not even coming up on CoinMarketCap, but it doesn't bother me because obviously it exists and there, and obviously you can still see data from it. So I'll go back to uh, stakingrewards.com and just do a bit more research on it. There's got to be something with this where i can find information on this coin uh if i can't find it here you know you can hold on let me see if i click on this and lets me highlight here we go you can do things like this go on to um google and just type it in for it i want to say forever (laughs) roshi for a for for coin for coin i think that's right type it in on google see what comes up shows up here it's got a nice little website here i can see it straight away in the link and then i'll do my research wanted me to pair with my uh, 
thingy, so I'm guessing it's part of a, a smart chain, Binance smart chain, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it is because my Fox thing came out straight away. <laughs> I'm saying my Fox thing, I can't remember what it's called. What's this bloody app called? MetaMask. <laughs> not cutting nothing. So then, you know, I, I look through and I do my research. I understand what it's about. Straight away, I can see smart contract audited. Um, you know, it's a DeFi coin. Uh, checking out the APY, that makes sense why the APYs are high. And I'm guessing if I launch the app, let me just come in here, pool staked. See, these are the sort of things that I look at. But again, I still wouldn't invest into it until I understand. Look, you've got two options. You can liquidity mine or, or you can stake. These are things that I would do. And I would also check the white paper. I need to see the white paper. Because again, I want to make sure that when, when I look at this coin, is it a hidden gem? If it is, what's your white paper saying? What are you uh, you know looking to do going forward? Uh, is it not letting me scroll anywhere now? It's not letting me scroll up or down. I'm trying to move up and down. It's not letting me scroll up or down. Uh, let me just click back, back. I want to see if it has a white paper. Um, if it lets me. Hello, what are you doing? Why? I okay. <laughs> let me, uh, here we go. Do you have a white paper? Because if you do, that's what I want to see. And this is what you guys should be doing. Checking the white papers to make sure it has a medium here. I can't see a white paper. So until I see a white paper and read, you know, thoroughly about what this project is all about, I wouldn't invest into it. But these, this is how I do things. I look for the, and, and it doesn't even show what kind of market cap size or anything that it has. So um, let me just have a look down here. Uh, yeah, nah, it's just talking about what it does in DeFi, what it can offer you as percentage, yield, and things like that. Um, what's the disclaimer? Um, okay, it's just talking a bit like how their how their DeFi coin works and stuff. But yeah, you know, that's one. That's another way to do it. Going on stakingrewards.com. That's what I would do uh, if you wanted to stake, right? Because I'm all about passive income. That's how I would look for uh, gems. Another, uh, well, this is the third one, right? When you look for gems, you need to find coins that have very low market cap. Meaning, right now, this Bitcoin market cap is 800 million. So essentially, you can come on coinmarketcap.com uh, and you can tap on market cap and change it. So it switches from lowest to high. But this is only going to show lowest to high on, uh, hold on, let me get it. There you go. On the top 100 coins, because you'd have to then click, come down here and click the next button to see the next 200 coins or the next 300 coins, because there's 9,000 coins, right? You can skip the page. So I'm just looking at the top 100 right now, and I've I switched the market cap. The lowest market cap out of the top 100 is Nervous Network. I would have done a video on Nervous Network. Check it out. It's interesting. But I, I would look for coins less than a uh, hundred million so you know in this case now i would scroll down maybe skip it to like what page four let's just skip it to page four and see what we get page four puts me at 110 million but let, again let's change the market cap size to its lowest here we go 71 million this is below 100 million now th this <clears throat> this for me could be the coins to look at in relation to uh, finding these gems right and then i like to look at the supply how much supply is it circulating how much is out there how much because uh, supply pay, uh, plays an important role in relation to scarcity you want to look for key uh, coins that are scarce that are hard to get hold of you know low price can be good as well i'm looking at this one here 74 million safe key if this is anything like what i'm thinking in relation to um the the other one uh, the key that i invested in you know, then this could be a good look. So right now I'm seeing it's got a $5 billion market cap. Uh, sorry, market cap. <laughs> total supply. It's got a total supply of $5 billion. Uh, the market cap's below $100 million. So I know if I was to invest into something like this and it did a 10x, it would put it at a $740 billion. So, or maybe 700, uh, 700 Sorry, billion. <laughs> I'm not with it today. Mommy, what is it? I'm mess messing up my words. What is wrong with you? I did not bring you up this way. But mommy, I can't help it. I'm trying to teach them. In the well, you need to sort it. If you don't, I will find the broom. <laughs> and I will beat you. <laughs> okay, mommy. <laughs> okay, took it too much. <laughs> 75 million times 10 is 750 million. That's what I'm trying to get at. So self-key, I would look into it again. You know, I'd have to do my research because... Right now, if it does a 10x, 750 million, still under a billion, that's good for me. I can make a 10x on my money. Nice low uh, supply. You know, like I said, I believe that the Zillikas and the Harmonies can go to a pound and they had between 10 to 20 billion. This has got five, six billion. So this could probably do double the price in future, maybe two pounds. I get it off the back of my head straight away. I just see it and I hear it and I feel it. Woo! 
48 million in volume. I look at the volume and I say to myself, there's a lot of people paying attention to the coin because if there's no volume, I don't want to know. So this is another way of how I do it, right? And let me just come into the coin here. Again, I check the information on the coin, self key, financial services, <clears throat> sign up made easy. Okay, that's what they say. And then obviously you can come through and have a little look through the, the whole project as a whole. Check there about us, check the resources. You know, they're talking about certifiers, um, white paper. See, straight away for me, self key is doing the right steps to make me want to invest into it because not only does it have its white paper, the website looks nice. And, you know, I know I can uh, look in my own time over the white paper, look, English PDF, tap, uh, tap it, let it load up, and I can look through this. And then once I feel satisfied with this, I can then say, okay, I think I've found a hidden gem. You know, the website looks great. Uh, great, great. <laughs> Not great, great. <laughs> the website looks great. The market cap is relatively low, meaning there's room for it to grow. You know, you can look at what it's done over the last... Uh, however long since it's been out what was its highest before uh, its highest before was if I can squeeze back uh, it's not let me see here was this four pence let me just come down here because sometimes if you can't find it on that little chart you can come down here and see what the highest price it ever hit before all-time high it went as high as six pence I like to look at the all-time high as how high it went before because it can give me a rough estimate as to how high it can potentially go again you know I can do five times, four four to five times my money. Well, if it goes to the point two pence, that'd be three times my money, two, four, six, right? But again, I look forward into the future because, you know, the supply for me shows that it's scarce. Again, I compare it against coins like the Zillicas or the Harmonies. Like I said, I love Harmony completely. And, you know, I look at the supply, 12 billion, 12, 13, even if it's 13 billion, I come back to this new coin that I'm thinking, oh, I think I found a hidden gem. 6 billion it could potentially do double the price because it's the supply is more makes it more scarce harder to get hold of and yeah this is how i find it guys i mean you're seeing this exactly how it is now and i'm looking at this coin i'm thinking okay obviously i need to do more research before i say yes or no but again looking at something like self key with you know an, an, a good website white paper and then you compare it against something like the Elon Gates that is just making a tweet and saying, oh, well, this is going to get pumped. It's going to get pumped. I would much rather show you guys something like the self key rather than the Elon Gates because I don't want you to get burnt. I don't want you to buy in and then at the, and then for some reason the whole market, uh, so the whole crypto project just uh, drops. And again, I'm not saying Elon Gates is going to do that. But for me right now, self key has something more to grasp onto and again i need to then look at my all the things that I said to you at the start does it have a good real use case and again i haven't looked into it but uh, from what i'm reading here uh, maybe it does you know the, the whole white paper and everything I, I need to check it i'm gonna have to check it you can check it as well <laughs> well you're checking it with me right but you know and then and then i yeah i really do make that judgment i say to you know if this goes to a billion you know it will be sitting on because again you times it by 10 it'd be sitting on 17 pence so yeah that, actually that is mad that that is mad because this could really pop i'm gonna look into it i'm not gonna say any more on that i'm gonna look into it that's another way that i find these uh gems most people again when they're looking for gems i'm, I'm assuming like the, the the crypto youtubers they probably look for coins under 10 million if you're going to do that again you can do it but remember it's very risky because you're now coming down the market uh rank which is you're, you're going to be going into i'm just trying to look at the market cap size here you see that's 29 million we need to go lower people like to go really really low and remember these the most of these coins would be new projects or some that have been around for years that haven't managed to you know succeed or lift off take off they look at coins under a million uh, market cap size let me just really bring it down here let's go to number 10 and see what we can find uh, this is weird i've never done a video like this before but i thought i'd try it out if you're liking it so far drop that like you know let me know because if you like videos like this and you want to find gems yourself uh, i can help you well this is 10 million you know what let's i would even i would be happy with 10 million and I, or, or 9 million and i'll tell you why because if it did a 10x that's 100 million so if it did if it went to a billion dollar market cap that's 100x gems you see what i'm saying let's talk this then let's have a look let's talk this thing uh, i'm just scrolling through now 
to see so again I, I, i'm looking here looking at the prices and i will eventually look at the the supply in a second but i'm just taking a look at the prices first because i would like to say to myself okay what prices are they sitting on uh let's have a look at the supply uh hmm, actually let me see if i click circulating supply i'm hoping it just does it within these range of coins here we go so what's that the highest or the lowest okay the lowest circulating supply so out of these, I'm, I'm sitting on 939 rank, right? Around like the 900s now. So it's really, really, really low. Uh, circulating supply. This one here, Keeper. It's a, okay, it's a DAO. This might be something to do with DeFi. Uh, let me just scroll down a bit more and have a look. Because, you know, I'm trying to find something that catches my eye. Uh, and what's interesting with these ones is like, you know, if, if this is true, right? And this has 78,000 supply and that's all it has as a max supply. Then, you know, raw. Okay. Okay. Here's a fine example. This one has a max supply of 1 million. And that's all you're ever going to get. Which means H-A-P. Is it I or L? I want to say I. Happy. Like happy. Because I'm happy long if you feel. Anyway. <laughs> you, you know. I look at this. Let's look at the what it's done in the past. How long has it been out for? So March 10th, 2021. This is sort of like a new coin on coin market cap. May have been out a bit longer. I don't know. Um, but it's all time high here is um, what we're we talking. 190, 194 pounds, right? So here's another example. We're talking a super tiny market cap coin sitting in 996th place. Super tiny. This could be a gem. I don't know yet. I've got to check out some more things. So I'm going to click on the website. But I can tell you right now, with relation to uh, the market cap, uh, sorry, the supply, only a million in supply, we could see absolute insane pumps. On chain cyber security protocol with trustless oracles preventing hacker attacks. That's interesting because it, now it sounds like a real use case, uh, a world a real world use case coin get my words out i ain't cut nothing because if they're trying to put, uh, you know stop security and stop people from hacking you know it could work real-time publicly available info from data providers elected by dao a uh, cross <coughs> get my words out cross chain solution that suits most popular blockchains so you know quick glance at it look it looks like they're trying to do some sort of security of other blockchains to help them c c e x is protected sexes i don't know how would you pronounce that protected from accepting stolen funds so let's have a look uh if connected to happy or happy i think it's happy uh h a p i h a p l is one of them any c e x like um or centralized exchange right that's what c e x stands for in case some people are like, oh what's c e x centralized exchange like coinbase and binance will be warned in case of stolen funds are deposited on their platform now this is mad this would be a real case coin because we use binance every single day we use coinbase every single day and they're saying that they they're looking to connect with these big uh, blockchains sorry not blockchains big exchanges and letting them know if funds are about to be taken how would they do that again you know this is the technology that they have if that's what they're saying i'm gonna have to look into it more in this case funds are deposited on their platform and exchange will be able to block those funds until the situation is resolved that's sick i know they uh, most exchanges usually do that anyway but if these guys can catch on to that fast and understand where stolen funds have come from this could be big does it have a white paper that's my next step do you have a white paper because i want to read through at the moment, I, what's this little arrow here that just takes me to the top, yeah? Okay. Happy token. What happens when I click on it? It's going to make me click with my MetaMask. Happy token. Come on, where's your white paper? Please say you have a white paper of some sort. Uh, the distribution. I mean, is this like a white paper? I don't know. Um, token sale details. It shows the token sale. I can't see a white paper yet. Maybe they will. What's the blog saying? Because again, these are the things that you need to do when I say do your research. You know, look into it and understand more about the coin. Um, but the whole security side of things, it, that interests me because that's a real world use case. We Every single person that I know that is in cryptocurrency goes on to Binance. Real world, you know, goes on to 
Coinbase and we invest. And if that means that they're going to find a way to protect our investments if it gets stolen and they can block different like wallets and stuff from taking it further, helping Binance and Coinbase to see these problems straight away could be good. At the moment, you can't see much on their website. I'm going to have to reach out to them. I would actually email them, message them on Twitter and Telegram myself, uh, myself, get my words out, and say to them, you know, do, do you guys have a white paper? Can I see, like, you know, the background of uh, what's going on and what you're trying to do and blah, 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 blah. Read tokenomics. Let's have a look here. Uh, is this like their little... Okay, it's taking us back to the, the medium as to how it works and stuff. I suppose some coins like to use this for white paper. I've seen it being done before. You know, they're breaking down the tokenomics of their coin and stuff. This is something I'd have to have a read through as well. But yeah, now this for me could work. This could be a hidden gem. It's sitting on £88 right now. I look at the max supply and the max supply is a million, right? Which means you're never, ever, ever going to get any more than a million tokens. Hence why the price is at £88 right now. Not many people are paying attention to this. The volume is low. It's less than a million. But how long until people do start paying attention? I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, when I invest in coins, I also like to see if I can actually store this on a ledger device because it's important. Because the last thing I want to do is buy coins, have it sitting on an exchange and then I can't remove it from the exchange. And if for any reason that exchange was to go down, I lose my coins. <clears throat> so I need to check if it can be stored onto a ledger. If that box is ticked, I would most probably look to invest in something like this. Again, providing that I can reach out to the team and see some more information on their project. But so far, so good for me. Oh, look, white paper right here. Let me click on this RAS. Okay, so they are using the medium as their, their white paper. So this is it. Tokenomics. This is their white paper. Like I said, I said to you a minute ago, some people use medium as a, as a way to put their white paper. This is it. I'm going to read through this. And you know what? I might do a bigger video on this <laughs> going forward. But what I can say to you right now is a coin like this with a 100 million max supply and 88 pound price, a market cap of 6.9 million. I'm going to show you guys. This is exact. You wanted to know how I find my hidden gems. I'm showing you one right now. It's as real as it gets. If we times this by 10, you'll be looking at 69 million. And if that's the case, you can take this price and shimmy it across. It'd be 888, sorry, 882 pounds. Because when you see it do a 10x, you're looking at 882 pounds. Let's take it a step, a step further because there's so much room for this to grow. Let's take the market cap again which and times it by 100 because now we're talking 100x gem. If this gem was to do 100x, and this is the kind of gem, guys, where you go sit on your camel <laughs> and you travel to Agrabah. And you travel across that desert <laughs> and you check out Princess Jasmine on the way. Hey, Jasmine. Jasmine. Hello. <laughs> What's going on, Jazz? You're right, yeah? Is Abu with you? <laughs> no, no, I left him at home with some apples. <laughs> Open up. I'm coming up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you go to the desert <laughs> and you look for the cave and you touch nothing but the lamp. And then obviously you rub that genie and then Happy or Happy pops out. I think it's Happy. Is there a little dot up here? It's Happy because it's got a little dot. Look, Happy. And Happy pops out. And then you invest into it and then you turn Happy because you make insane gains. <laughs> this is as real as it gets, literally. If it did 100x, you'd be looking at 695 million. Not billion, million dollar market cap. You could then take this press here and then times it by 10, 8, 880 pounds times it by 100 8880 pounds you would have if you just bought one coin you would have taken that 8000 pounds so you would have taken that 80 pounds 88 pounds and then waited patiently for it to go 100x turn into 8800 pounds that's the profit you're talking 8800 pound profit that is mad and these are the way or this these <laughs> and this is the way i look for hidden gems i need to see if i can put this on my ledger because if i can you best believe <laughs> i'm gonna be investing in this and you know who's actually gonna see this video first my patreons <laughs> if you are a patreon of mine you would have seen this video first before everyone else so please <laughs> if you haven't already become a patreon you're welcome to you know just come on here Click on the tier which shows my buy sell stake alerts because then you know you will know when I'm looking to buy these coins 
And yeah, you, if you don't want to miss out and learn how to do things like this, my Patreon see it first. So shout out to you guys. But yeah, guys, this one looks really interesting to me, this uh, happy, happy token. And I think there's there could, again, got to do more research on it, could be good money to be made of this coin. I'm actually going to favorite this right here. Boom. Bookmark it so I know and I don't forget it. This is how I find it, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If this was interesting to you, if it helped you in some sort of way, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. I'm hoping <laughs> that my mic is connected properly and that you can hear this properly because I can't do this whole video again. <laughs> it's not going to work the same way. And if it sounds terrible, I'm just going to have to upload it like that because I just plugged my mic back in because it came out a bit and sometimes it switches over the, the mic where you record. Anyway, I know what I mean. I want to do a super special shout out to my patrons. Shout out to... Let me find my bloody phone. Where is it? Uh, not my phone. Uh, in my phone. Uh, here we go. My list. Shout out to Daniel Atkins, Toy Notary, Glenda, It's Time, Cora Black, SM, I Dry, Tasimi, He, Tony Dam, Marco Costanti, Jazz, Azari, Michael, AJ, Frank C623, Clarence Dennison, Honcho the First, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Captain Goodsmoke, Suad Shakla. Oh my God. Hold on. Lewis Roach, Latasha F, Axel, Carlos, Rocha. Hold on, I gotta put my phone on plane mode because I got a feeling someone's about to call me. <laughs> I don't want to lose the names. Uh, Mr. Tough Fu, Damaris, Naj Bogan, Dan Cox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG, Brittany, Bizzle, Raphael Kakinski, Ma uh, Kakinski, Max. Guys, I've got a few more to go. Hold on. <laughs> Kenneth Whitley, Wiseman, Marcelo Trevino, Ridiox Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Cheung, Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edward. You know what? Instead of you just sitting there looking at this boring screen, let me put it on this. Here we go. Scroll through. <coughs> Luca Reno. Oh, it's not scrolling. Abiola. Rachel Mack. Why is it not scrolling? What's going on? Like, my greasy hands. Anyway. Uh, Rachel Mack, Dwayne Suda, Evan Fong, Bola, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Stacks on Racks. I don't know why it's taking long to scroll, guys. Not my fault. Uh, Stan Carl, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Eric Eubank, Omar Thomas, Casper Nell, Aaron Davis, Damian Hunter, Rion Wade, Restored by Life, Ali Gio, CCP269, Good Feels Nice. I think I'm halfway now. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, Aaron White, Lucas, I feel like I'm shouting at you all. <laughs> Albert Lynn, Aaron B, Four Honor Man, <clears throat> Dominique. Alexander Mangyung, Will W, Peter Stoddart, Belinda Spencer, Eric For <laughs> Eric Foreman. I'm not cutting nothing. I'm just keeping it raw, fresh, and organic like as does. Semyon, Fetima Price, Shwanda Owens, Trey, Paul Parmander, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Ashley Lee, Tom Bard, or Tom Baird, sorry. Marcel S. -S -K, I'm almost there. I promise you. 19, <laughs> no, JF1905, Kevin Ward, Sazavi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Radiana Mativa, Marcus Jenk, Chris Steed, Peter Mosa, Chris C, Andy Helmuth, Yi Yoke, Sheck. There is too many of you. Where are you coming from? D I'm not upset, by the way. She's mad. D swearing, Ephraim Baraki. Uh, I think I'm getting there. Hold on. Andrew Harden, Posey Wo, <laughs> Eric, T Moore, M. Clarkson, Gerard Miller, Kelvin. I'm starting to losing it now. Badder than bored, Giovanni Mendes, William Fox, new names coming, S. Jar, Claudette Homiliosa, I swear to God, that would be a wicked potion like Wingardium Leviosa, uh, Shams Jan, Shakir Hussian, Jeff Tomtich, Ricardo Hernandez, JB, Paul Lamarex, Limara Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, my God, you all slowed me down, and Melissa, Melissa. Thank you so, so much. My God. And all the new patrons, I see you. Thank you for becoming a patron. Really, uh, I really appreciate it. It supports me and my channel. <sighs> they became patrons because they get to see things before you do, like this video. And if you don't want to miss out, you're welcome to become a patron. There's seven, a patron? <laughs> Patreon. There's seven tiers. Select your tier. You're welcome to choose whichever tier is best for you. Again, I recommend the tier with my buy, sell, stake alerts. You can take a pick. It's entirely up to you at the end of the day. You take your pick because uh, then you won't miss nothing, you see. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.